I want to talk to, about something that directly affects her, but I suspect she likely will not be able to comment on. Pauline Hanson is being taken to court by the Green Senator Maureen Faruqi for hurt feelings. Well, officially, according to Faruqi, she's taking Hanson to court under Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act for racial discrimination caused by, quote, an insulting and humiliating tweet. Yeah, Faruqi claims Senator Hanson violated the Hurt Feelings Act when she tweeted last year that she should, quote, pack your bags and piss off back to Pakistan, end quote. The SBS reported that Faruqi's lawyers alleged the tweet did offend, insult, humiliate and intimidate Senator Faruqi and other people who share attributes with her, adding that it was done because of the colour, race or national or ethnic origin of the applicant and some of the people in the group. End quote. Well, I'm not sure if those attributes included the repeated distasteful conduct of Farugi herself, who seems to spot everywhere, racism everywhere, except where it's most noticeable. She sees racism if you don't support the religion of Islam, even though religion is not a race. And there was no racism, of course, when her former fellow green extremist Lydia Thorpe told Hanson to go back to where she came from. And of course, there's no racism when Green Crier in Chief Senator Hanson Young talks about old white men or the white patriarchy. Nah, -uh. for Greens like Faruqi, racism is a pick and choose process. And so apparently is being a victim of hurt feelings. I mean, none of the vile and awful things that this useless bunch of crossbenchers say about others is actually or can actually be offensive to others. Instead, it's supposedly only their feelings that matter. Well, frankly, this action by Faruqi is everything that's wrong with Section 18C. It should go because it's become effectively a subjective test about how someone feels when confronted with a point of view that they just don't like. We've seen lives damaged or ruined already as a result of the lawfare sparked by hurt feelings. And it's bad enough when it's used against students, like in the Queensland University case over the kids who wanted to go into an Aboriginal-only lab. But now we've got senators, they're using it to silence their opponents. We've actually entered a frightening new political realm.